All right. So basically, what I was trying to say, I, I know as a life coach and um, in your past and previous um, things that you have learned across your journey mm-hmm. um, with life in general, mm-hmm. you're into zodiacs. Yes. You're you're into um, a lot of things like that. I'm a Libra. I was just yes. wondering, um, can you tell me about me? Um, we're gonna need. Did you text me your birth time? Oh, I can. Uh, I probably won't be able to get that. Text me your birthday in. It's September twenty seventh. Where were you born? Spain. Like Madrid or? Yeah. And you don't know what time you were born, so we automatically default that to 12 a.m. So this part won't be, some of this won't be accurate. Ooh. So I'm going to show the chart. I'm gonna show. All right. So here's the thing. <clears throat> Your son is in Libra. But only three degrees. Okay. So you're very much uh, have Virgo influence in your chart. Your moon is in Cancer, which means you're super emotional. Remember, I always kept calling you Cancer. I keep when yeah. I always tell you you have Cancer vibes. Yeah. You have a Cancer moon, and so the moon impacts your emotions. So how you handle things below the surface is Cancer. You're a sweetheart at heart. Uh, things like that. Um. Your Mercury is in Libra. Mine is too. So you just give it to people straight. You just say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, your Venus is in Scorpio. So sex runs your life. Damn. You make decisions based off of sex when you should be not doing that. Makes Didn't we have a conversation in one of the earlier podcasts? 100%. I can't wait for us to go through and look at the, uh, the clips for that. And yeah. then we can insert it wherever. Um, but... That the clip crazy because I'm pretty sure Mars is in Capricorn, so you like to fight through money. I'm gonna punish you with your money. Mm. I'm gonna get revenge through my money. <laughs> um, but also, it's a matter of like. So a lot of people kind of like. Mars is also about how you are and show up in your partner's life. So your Mars and Venus, it shows up in a sexual way, but your Mars is also like, um, and this is just me. I'm an intuitive, uh, uh, intuitive astrology person, and I'm analyzing his personality based off of this. So the Capricorn in Mars, meaning you feel like your strongest suit the best thing you can offer a woman is your financial stability. You're stable. That's like one of your strongest qualities because you're financially stable and you're able to, you know, sustain, you know, afford different things. Um, so that is something that you pride yourself in. When you're, when, even when you feel like you're not financially stable, you are, but you have high um, expectations of yourself. Your Saturn is in Sagittarius, and so is your Uranus. Um, these are placements. I gotta look at the houses, cause I'm looking at. I want to look at the signs and what houses your signs. So, your love and relationship houses are in Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? It can be problematic sometimes okay. with those. Um, Libras kind of like are indecisive, indecisive, or we always because they always want to lay weigh the scales. Scorpios can be emotionally manipulative. They can be persuasive. They can be very passionate, but easily hurt. And then once hurt, can be. If you've ever met an angry Scorpio, I'm an angry Scorpio sometimes. Okay. You don't want to touch that, like because they. The level of their rage, it could either explode in a physical way or it can be like you you answered a DM from somebody that's been on your Facebook page for a long time. And next thing you know, you're hog died to a bed and you don't have no clothes and they're like pouring different crazy stuff on top of you and you're stranded in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That, that, that like the Scorpio rain. But you also have a crazy side. Okay. And, and like the methodical craziness. I don't feel crazy. You, you're, of course you don't. A crazy person is never feel crazy. <laughs> I don't feel crazy. Your Chiron's in Gemini. 
your rising's not accurate. Your north node is in Aries. So that's your purpose. Taking action. Being a champion for the people. Um, Chiron is in Gemini. So you're, this is the wounded healer. So like maybe you could have a parent who's Gemini. You don't have to. But you could also um, have situations where is based off your... Um, I have a best friend who's a Gemini. Okay, so the wounded healer is how your parents affected you. Okay. And so it's like maybe there's a level of indecisiveness or they could be so different that it uh, shows you conflicting things um, growing up. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, their lifestyles and stuff like that. So, yeah, but... Um, that's your chart and oof, once you get deeper you'll see the 